Shoppers! Kumusta? Hope all of you are okay. And uh, welcome to my new subbies. For those who haven't subscribed yet to my channel and who are new to this channel and who happen to just discover my channel, please do subscribe and hit the notice bell. Ayan. Today po is August 31, 2020, the year of the Lord. It's a significant day in history kasi ngayon po ay National Heroes Day. At dahil na National Heroes Day, sabi ko, aba ito na yung perfect day na ma-share ko pala sa inyo ang libro matagal ko nang isinulat at ito ay ang superhero Neo. It's a book that I wrote when I gave birth to my second child, si Neo. Yan, I wrote it in 2013 and it was published in 2014. So, pinangalan ko siya ng 2010, sometime 2013, habang uh, natutulog si Neo sa kanyang crib, sinulat ko ito, inspired by the many stories of heroism. And it was published in 2014 when he was already 4 years old. Now, between 2 to 4 years old, si Neo po dumaan doon sa stage no, na napakahilig niya sa costume. As in, di ba nakaka-relate dyan ng maraming mga bata, no, mga anak natin, lalong-lalo na yung mga lalaki na bata. Kasi sila yung mahilig magsuot ng mga superhero costumes. So, pakita ko sa inyo ha. So, ito si Neo, yung mga 2 years old siya, na nakasuot siya ng Batman costume. Pero dai. Kompleto siya, hindi lang yan ang costume niya. Mapadisi, mapamarvel. Ang hilig talaga ng anak ko na mag-costume. So one time, tinanong ko siya, sabi ko, Neo, what is it about heroes? Why do you love wearing costumes? Is it just, you know, kasi curious ako, no? Is it just, you know, maganda tingnan yung costume, makulay, ganyan. Pero ang ganda na sagot ni Neo. Kasi sabi niya, I want to save the world. Ah, di ba? I'm sure makakarelate din ulit ang mga mommies uh, na nanonood ngayon, especially mga anak niyo kung mahilig din sa mga superheroes. Di ba ganyan ang sagot ng mga anak natin? I want I want to be a hero. I want to save the world. So, ganyan yung sagot sa akin ni Neo. So, inspired by that, sinulat ko ngayon itong uh, superhero Neo. Kasi nga, tayong lahat, especially nowadays, no, pandemic 2020, we are all looking for a hero to look up to, a hero to inspire us, a hero to save our lives, to save us from a predicament that uh, we may be going through or challenges in life. And we too, ourselves, no, tayo mismo, we can be heroes and we have our own stories of heroism. In our lives, constant yung need na magkaroon tayo ng someone to look up to, yung ating heroes, di ba? Pero meron heroes na sa cartoons at fictional at meron ding heroes sa ating everyday lives. Yun yung real heroes. Kaya, given those two kinds of heroes, sinunat ko tong story na ito. Ito na this vlog is special because this book is close to my heart. And I want to share this with you para mapanood nyo and hopefully mapanood nyo with your kids at mapanood nila ng paulit-ulit whenever they need some storytelling session, di ba? So you can make them watch this uh, with your kids. When my kids were young, I would read the books to them. Naka, uh, upo sila sa lap ko. Kasi alam nyo yung mga ano, nanay, no? Iba yung bonding kapag binabasahan nyo aloud ang inyong mga anak. You read along with them uh, and you read to them and nakakandong sila sa inyong lap. Iba yung bonding moment. So, yun. Ngayon malalaki na sila. Maroon na sila magbasa. Hindi na ngayon nangyayari yun. <laughs> Namimiss ko tuloy yung mga panahon na yun. Yung mga binabasahan ko sila. Storytelling time. You know, but it will always be a part of my life as a mommy. And for the millennials out there at yung mga Gen Zs na hindi ako uh, lubos na kilala, ang yung lingkod po ay isang children's book author din. Yes, I've written six uh, children's books all in all. And here they are. Briefly, I will show you. Brian Learns His Lesson, The Best Selling Basura Monster, Over 500,000 Copies Sold, and uh, The Story of Christine, Bakit Siya Meron, Bakit Ako Wala, and Contra Vida, Big Boy Buaya, uh, which is a story about Mother Earth and yung destruction sa Mother Earth. Ito yung ika six book na nasulat ko na. So, in another vlog, I will share with you po kung ano yung mga storya ng ibang mga books na nasulat ko na and the story behind each book. But that will be in another vlog. But today, August 31, 2020, National Heroes Day, ito po muna ang isi-share ko sa inyo. So this is a rare occasion wherein, or first time na, nagagawin ko na ako po ay magsa-storytelling in front of the camera for my vlog. For posterity, souvenir na rin po ito habang ako ay malakas pa. Dahil someday I will be old, I won't be able to speak, or garagal na yung boses ko. Uh, baka hindi ko na ito magawa. So while I am still at the prime of my life, prime of my life, 
Oo, at nagagawa ko pa ito, ay gagawin ko na talaga. Kwento ko rin lang sa inyo na there was a year na hindi ako masyado active. I was uh, in between shows. So, nagkaroon ako ng time para ipromote yung book and go through the rounds of different schools, whether public school, private school, big venues like uh, SM Mall, uh, small venues, private venues. I would read and uh, do storytelling sessions. Ang dami! Ang sayo ng, ano, ang sayo ng taon na yun kasi uh, sinusulat ko yung mga schools na pinupuntahan ko yung mga venues and umabot ako ng 100, 100 venues in a year just to read my books to the kids of different ages. At eto na nga po ang inyong lingkod, Christine Bersola Babaw, na magbabasa sa inyo ng librong sinulat ko, Superhero Nio, ang Superhero Nio. Published in 2014, published by my very own CBB Books, printed by Katha Publishing Company Incorporated. Over. Para po sa mga nagtatanong kung saan po mabibili ang book na ito, unfortunately, sold out na po and out of print na. So, I will make it a goal na mag-publish ulit ng several copies of this book. Siguro, if not late this year, baka next year po. Because this is published under my own CBB books. So, here goes! Superhero Neo, title page. Para nagbabasa lang tayo, storytelling lang na live kahit sa totoo lang tape. <laughs> Ito yung message, family page, si Neo wearing a Batman costume and Neo wearing all the costumes when he was younger. So hanggang mga around 7 years old, nagko-costume si Neo ng mga superhero Neo costumes. And now we start. Page 5. Superhero Neo has superhero eyes. He can see through people's hearts the good and the bad. Superhero Neo has superhero ears. He can hear what you say, the good and the bad. Do not laugh at her. You should even help her. Super Neo Hero has superhero mouth. He speaks only good words and avoids bad words. Superhero Neo has superhero hats. He reaches out to people and helps those in need. So makikita niyo sa page na ito, merong bully, pinagtatawanan niya pa yung bata imbis na tulungan niya. So ang ginawa ni superhero ay niligtas niya yung bata. Ayun na, tinulungan niya yung bata na nadulas. Yan ang superhero. Page 8. Superhero Neo has a superhero heart. He cares for and respects the elderly. He feels for people and will never hurt their feelings. Bullies think they are superheroes just because they have power over other children who they think are weaker and smaller than them. But bullies are not superheroes. Bullies are cowards. So in this page po, Ayan po ang isang scene ng pambubuli ng isang bata sa isang bata. And superhero is there. And ito po yung eksena. I am stronger than you because I am tall and big and you are small, sabi ng bully. Tapos sabi ng binuli, you have no right to bully me. And then sabi ni superhero Neil, being a bully does not make you a superhero. So, nag-save siya ng mga binubuli against the bullies. Page 9. Superhero Neo has a superhero brain. He uses his brain to think before he acts and does something. But superhero Neo is not alone. There are many superheroes in our lives. When we look around us, we will see them every day and everywhere. We see them in our homes. They are our house help driver, gardener. They work hard to serve us unselfishly and make our lives better. Our families are our heroes, our dad and mom, brothers and sisters. They are our big heroes. They teach us how to love and respect others. Ito yung part na sinasabi ko lagi sa mga bata, mga kids out there, na before anyone else Ang ating mga superheroes ay ang ating mga magulang, first and foremost. 
We see them in our schools, like our parents, our teachers also impart to us important lessons and values. They are patient with our needs. Our teacher uses books to help us know and understand the answer to our questions. She helps us discover wonderful things around us. That's why our teachers are heroes too. Through these books, which our teachers encourage us to read, and with the help of our imagination, we can go to different places we have never seen before. We also see superheroes in our neighborhood. Our fireman uses his fire hose to save lives of people and animals trapped in fire. He uses his superhero traits, bravery, and courage to save people's lives. Soldiers are heroes too. They protect our country from those who threaten our nation's peace and order. They risk their lives to serve our countrymen. Our policeman on the street uses his club or batuta to protect us. He saves those who are in trouble. He uses his gun only when needed and does not abuse his power. We see in some faraway places people who share what they have and what they know in order to help people in need. They bring people closer to God. People from the religious community, like the priests, are heroes too. They remind us of the importance of doing good and how to lead good lives. They remind us to live by example, to lead by faith, to become good servant leaders and obedient followers. Media men also risk their lives in order to investigate on important news stories and expose corrupt public officials. We see on television our media men and women, news anchors and news reporters who make us aware of what is happening in our country and in the world. Children who are sick are superheroes too. They show bravery and the will to survive by battling their illness every day. These children are young and small, yet they fight their own huge battles. Let's pray for them too. Do you know that being prayerful is a heroic deed too? Our people in authority should act and behave like superheroes. They should help people unselfishly. They should think of other people's welfare first before their own good. They should use their powers wisely. That is how a superhero must be. Altogether, firemen, policemen, military, public servants, doctors and nurses, teachers, street sweepers, missionaries, social workers, overseas Filipino workers, those in the service industry or sector, they are our everyday real superheroes. They exist in our world daily, in our lives daily. Do you have a favorite cartoon superhero? One who wields swords and fights dragons? One who is brave and adventurous? Our favorite cartoon superheroes use their superhero strength and intelligence. X-ray eyes, hammer, metal shields, webs, bow and arrows, and all kinds of powers and weapons to protect and save human lives. They use all their superhero powers and weapon carefully and responsibly. They never abuse these powers or these weapons for their own good. Superhero Neil's weapons are the weapons he carries with him every day. His weapons are not guns or swords because weapons do not always come in the form of guns and swords to protect others. Superhero Neil's weapons are his eyes, ears, mouth, hands, brain, and most of all, his heart. Are you a superhero in your own way? Would you like to become one for a day? In what ways are you a superhero? The end. Ayan, sana nagustuhan nyo ang ating storytelling here in my vlog. Please show me some love by liking this vlog and commenting below kung ano yung 
uh, nagustuhan yung part ng librong isinulat ko. You can also share in what ways you have become a hero in your life. Or if a hero has touched your life, yan, madaming pwede tayong i-share. And I thank you in advance for sharing my book. There you have it, kids. I hope you liked our storytelling ngayong National Heroes Day. And here's the inspiration of the book that I wrote, ang ating totoong superhero, Neo. Say hi to them, Neo. Say hi to them. Hi, heroes. Neo, uh, do you think you're a hero? Are you a hero? Yes. Do you think you're a hero? Yes. In what ways are you a hero? Well... Recycling and helping around the, at the house. Yes, recycling. We do recycling. So you're a Mother Earth hero when you recycle. And then we also do eco-breaking, di ba? Yeah. I what do. else? Being a good son to your parents is also a way of being a hero, di ba? So, Leo, I wrote this book uh, in honor of you, Thank you, my son, because I want uh, you uh, to grow up being a hero, but well, you already are, <laughs> diba? And uh, so that when you're all already old, and you will show this to your what own children, and your children's children, diba? They have something to watch and uh, remember me by, right? Right? Oh, what, what do you want to say to the kids watching this now on being a hero? So, Neil, what is your message to all the kiddie heroes out there? Uh, kids like uh, your age? You can be a hero yourself by helping around your house and recycling. And being a good? Uh, and being a good... Son or daughter? Son or daughter. To your parents. So thank you, Neo. I love you, Neo. And we also want to thank uh, Tita Mimi who made our costumes. Ito yung sinusuot ko pang nag uh, storytelling ako. Itong cape na to, the red cape and the mask. Si Neo yung maliit siya, guys. Ito yung sinusuot niya. Hindi daw kosyo ngayon. <laughs> Uh, especially made for him by Tita Mimi of Bumblebee and Company Costumes. Ayan. And Mimi, oh, look, oh, may muscle-muscle pa. Pero hindi na siya kasha niyo, no? Maliit na siya. So, when uh, Neo was still a toddler and until he was around 8 years old, nasusuot niya pa ito. Pero now, masikip na kay Neo kasi tall na rin si Neo. Na, Neo? So, thank you so much again, guys, for watching and for listening to my storytelling. Remember, Everyone can be a hero in his small or big way. So be a hero starting today. Bye. See you in the next vlog, guys. Bye. By faith, to become good servant leaders and obedient followers. Media men also risk their lives in order to investigate on important news stories and expose public officials. You know what? You know we have a media man right now, right here. You know who he is? Julius Baba! <laughs> <laughs> no, Julius Baba, the daddy of Neo, who is a newsman. That's him taking Hello. our photos. <laughs> we see on television our media men and women, news anchors and news reporters who make us all aware of what is happening in our country and in the world. Did you know that children who are sick are superheroes too? They show bravery and the will to survive by battling their illness every day. These children are young and small and frail, yet they fight their own huge battles. Look, you know, let's pray for them too. Okay, being fearful is a heroic deed too.